Hello, my name is Dr. Julie Wickle, and I'm a doctor here at Claws and Paws Veterinary Hospital. Today I'm going to talk to you about heartworms, the disease, treatment, and prevention. Heartworm disease is caused by a 10-inch long worm called Diafilaria imidis. They are transmitted by mosquitoes. It is not a dog-to-dog -dog or cat-to-cat -cat transmission. Once a mosquito bites a dog, it can take up to six months for those immature larvae to become adults and live inside the heart. They will live in the heart and the adjacent blood vessels affecting the heart and the lungs and interfering with function. Dogs can have heartworms for up to five years and they can live up to two to three years in the cat. During this time, a female heartworm can produce millions of offspring called microfilaria. How common is heartworm disease? In this area, heartworm disease can be in up to 60% of dogs and 8 to 14% of cats. Some commonly asked questions are, if my dog lives inside, then he doesn't need heartworm prevention, right? Well, your dog still does. As we all know, mosquitoes follow us inside, and there are also some species of mosquitoes that live almost completely indoors. What about if your dog has a long hair coat? Again, your dog needs heartworm prevention. While long hair coats can be protective for your dog, unfortunately the hair on the ears and the face is short and mosquitoes can bite through that area. Why do we need to test prior to putting your pet on medication? If your dog has heartworms, then it can be dangerous to put your dog on medication. If your dog has heartworms, the safest thing to do is to treat your pet, then put them on the prevention that they need. Do cats really need heartworm prevention? Yes. Put your cat on heartworm prevention, please. Adult heartworms can affect the dog in numerous ways. The most common sign is coughing, inability to exercise, shortness of breath, lethargy, vomiting, and diarrhea. What happens is the adult worms can plug up the heart and the blood vessels. The immature heartworms will take the place of much needed nutrients and oxygen and blood going to the other internal organs. Heartworms are easily diagnosed by just taking a simple blood test here at the hospital. You can find out the results right away. With cats, it's not that simple. Heartworm disease in cats is not dependent upon adult worms. And so that makes the testing a little bit more complicated. Before treating your dog for heartworms, a complete blood cell count and a serum chemistry is performed along with chest x-rays. This is to assure that it is safe as possible to treat your pet. Some dogs with moderate to severe disease may need some medication prior to treatment, such as antibiotics, anti-inflammatories such as steroids, or other heart medications. Aftercare is very important. It is essential that you keep your dog quiet. No running, no jumping, no exercise whatsoever. What happens is as these worms die, they start to decompose and then they travel to the lungs where they absorb back in the body. If your dog is too active, it can cause a number of worms to migrate at once, causing problems. Now, unfortunately, we can have problems even if your dog is inactive because of the inflammation. So watch very carefully for those signs that your dog is having problems, primarily coughing. Following treatment, it is very important that you put your dog on heartworm prevention. Unfortunately, we do have some pets that we treat them for heartworms. They're not put on the prevention and then they come back in with heartworms again. In the cat, heartworm disease is primarily a lung disease. And what we see is coughing, shortness of breath, and a lot of times, sudden death, which can occur in dogs also. Heartworm disease many times is mistaken for asthma in cats. Signs that you look for if your pet is having a problem after treatment is Number one is coughing. Second is the shortness of breath, lethargy, vomiting, diarrhea, not eating. Anything that has you concerned, we want to see your pet.
heartworm treatment is much safer while it can be rough on the dog. It is much safer to treat your dog for heartworms than let them live in the body up to five years, potentially causing damage. Now I've talked about dogs, what about cats? Unfortunately, it is not safe to treat cats for heartworms. Up to a third of cats treated can potentially have fatal consequences. So please, again, put your cat on heartworm prevention. I can't stress that enough. How effective is heartworm treatment in the dog? Heartworm treatment is 98 to 100 percent effective. Rarely does your dog need to be treated a second time, but I need to stress that after treatment your dog needs to be put on heartworm prevention, otherwise he can get heartworms again. Now here's the good news. Heartworm treatment is almost 100 percent preventable. Your dog or cat is given either a tablet on the same day each month or a topical solution is used. Trifexis is one of my favorites. It is a pill that you give once a month and it prevents heartworms and also helps to control fleas. The second medication that I recommend is HeartGuard. It does not control fleas, but it does protect your pet against heartworms. For your cats, what I recommend is Revolution. This is a topical that is put on the back of your cat's neck once a month. It not only helps to prevent heartworms, but it controls fleas, intestinal parasites, and ear mites. Some people talk about the cost of the medications. What I want to stress to you is these are relatively inexpensive when compared to the cost of heartworm treatment and the cost to your pet's health. Let's summarize. Mosquitoes carry heartworms. Mosquitoes bite dogs and cats. Medication can prevent disease. No dog or cat should ever have to suffer from heartworm disease. And together, you and your veterinarian can prevent that. If you have any more questions about heartworms, please don't hesitate to call one of our friendly staff, or you can take a look at our website at www.cpvh.com. Thank you.